With gas prices soaring, car emissions straining the environment and people spending more time in traffic instead of the great outdoors, a Durham company has developed a solution. It's called the ELF. Stephanie Borland takes us to Organic Transit, where they're producing solar electric assisted bikes. These vehicles combine the ease of a car with the benefits of a bicycle. The ELF is easy to spot, even through a collage of cars. It's more than just its vivid color coding, from wasabi green Whoa! to mango. This category-defying pod-shaped vehicle doesn't look like anything else on the streets. Jeff Fink rides his L 40 miles round trip to work each day. In just a month, he's lost 10 pounds and saved $160 in gas. Knowing that you're traveling for virtually free, there's, there's, there's no gasoline being expended, there's no insurance, there's no license, there's no registration required. But if you think his commute now consumes another precious commodity, time, Jeff is keeping count. By car, it takes me 30 minutes. Um, I set a new record last night with all the best conditions of 47 minutes in ELF. So it took me 17 minutes longer by ELF than it does in my car. And it was just a lot of fun. It's exhilarating. Jeff's not just a fan of this Velomobile, which means a pedal-powered car-like vehicle. He's also a part of the organic transit team that's making them. It's a team that utilizes technology from the bicycle, boating, and even aircraft industries. The ELF, or Electric Light and Fun, are part of a vision Rob Cotter has had for more than 30 years. So decades go by and now the market has come about where because of things like Gulf oil spill and the price of fuel, climate change, it made people realize that they'd be open for alternative ways of getting around town. So how do they get around? The ELF starts with the basics. A large tricycle frame is the foundation and then it's built much like any other bike. From rotating the wheels to installing the chain system. The ELF begins with all the elements of a bicycle. Then, its intricately constructed pieces and cutting edge technology are assembled. So legally it's a bicycle. So you pedal it and it has solar panels that charge the batteries, that engage the motor, that give you assistance when you need it for acceleration or going up hills and then the rest of the time you can be pedaling. Or not necessarily. You pedal when you want and you hit the throttle when you want. Studies show an elf could get the equivalent of 1,800 miles per gallon. And while AAA reports it can cost more than $9,000 a year to maintain a standard car, the elf could produce some substantial savings. They've even created a dashboard app to keep track of all of those statistics. So this is your speed, the time, the miles. This is how much CO two you saved, that's how many calories you burned, this shows what you've gained from the solar, this gives you the best route. It weighs about 130 pounds and together with the throttle and a little pedal power, it can reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour. Elves are about five feet tall, eight feet long and three and a half feet wide and have a base price of $4,000. The majority of the population can get in and out of it that they feel comfortable in traffic, that cars see it and readily recognize it, and it has turn signals, brake lights, headlights, horn, all the things to make a bicycle-type vehicle safer. That feeling of safety comes from ELF's shell. It's produced by a company called Accuform Polymers in Warsaw, which specializes in building kayaks. The frames are welded in Elon by Mabry. Using North Carolina companies is also part of the philosophy of creating and maintaining green jobs and generating a new commuting culture. See cities full of these. Yeah, maybe see uh, school systems having these for driver's ed. Um, neighborhoods buying them and sharing them. It's a, uh, if nothing else, it's the beginning of a good conversation. Environmentally aware, cost-effective, health-conscious, 
But in order for folks to actually use the ELF, it's got to be practical. They don't want to get caught in the rain. They don't want to fall over. They want to get up the big hill without killing themselves. And they want to be able to carry groceries, cargo. So I thought I had better check it out. Starting on this side, uh, this is your primary brake lever. This controls the two disc brakes and the front tires, and this is the one you're mostly going to be using while riding. After a few more minutes of instructions, and you can always test if it's on by hitting the horn. horn. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I am definitely alert and ready to go now. It took the organic transit team four years to design the ELF, a year to bring the vehicles from paper to okay. prototype to production. Thank you. But I'm not worried about destroying this one in downtown Durham traffic. Yeah. Actually, after a few minutes, I got the hang of it, and it is a lot of fun. Okay, the coolest thing about the ELF is I have my full suit on for work. I'm ready to go. I'm completely covered from all the elements. I'm getting a great workout by bicycling, and if I get tired, all I have to do is hit the throttle, and off I go. Currently, they are making 12 ELFs a week, but Organic Transit is about to double that as demand for their products soar. We sold 51 vehicles through Kickstarter, which is a crowdfunding program. And then since that time, we've taken orders for like another 85. They all have deposited. And then we've set up a distribution for the Netherlands and Germany, which is quadrupled our annual goals in the first quarter. Need your signature, sir. Okay. Final quality assurance. Very and good. we were there as the first two were ready to roll out to their new owners. So we are in final delivery prep. These are the first to actually be shipped out, and the first are going to uh, Seattle, Washington. So it's exciting. First deliveries are going all the way across the country. But Rob has bigger plans for his petite vehicles, ideas that could engage entire communities, possibly even countries. And then we have like a developing nation scenario where if it takes 10 miles to go get 10 gallons of fresh water, now you can go do it in a couple of hours, come back with a 55-gallon drum of water. When you get back to the village, the solar and the pedal can be a miniature uh, utility station to power up their flashlights and lights and computers and things like that. The ELF, a diminutive device which could be transformed from an urban commuter vehicle to a catalyst for some colossal change. For more information about organic transit and the ELF, visit our website.